So thank you all for helping to make, make our meeting a success. We hope that you'll stay involved with us all year, not just when you're here. And all of the links here are on our website in the footer, so you don't need to write them down right now. But um, many of you are already following us on Twitter and tweeting about us. Uh, it's, haven't, I found, haven't found a good way to count up tweets, but I think there have been more than 1,500 tweets with the BOSC 2019 hashtag. So good going, all of you. Um, and yep, please feel free to join our Gitter room. And the BOSC announced mailing list has only a few messages a year. Um, we also encourage everyone who presented at this meeting to publish their slides or poster. They can do this on F1000 in the BOSC collection um, or post them wherever you like and let us know. We're going to be linking to slides, posters, and talks from our website. Let us know if you don't want us to do that. And just another reassurance that the videos that they did here have the slides but not the speaker. For those who want to join us for dinner tonight, um, we're going to be going to Marktal, which is where the social event was on Tuesday night, in case anyone went to that. Um, there's info and map at bit.ly slash boss2019-dinner. I think that might be case sensitive. Um, we reserved a uh, seating for the 30 people who signed up, but it's, it's a big hall, so if you didn't sign up and you want to come, please just come, find a seat anywhere, come say hi to us. Uh, the tram number two apparently will get you right there. And be sure to buy your drinks at the bar because that's what we told them we'd have people do in exchange for reserving seating for us. Uh, okay, here's the big announcement. Boss 2020, people are wondering where it will be. And we are going to, once again, like we did in 2018, partner with the Galaxy Community Conference to form something we're calling BCC, the Bioinformatics Community Conference. And it's going to be hosted by the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research, with Morgan uh, is going to be involved in that. And it is going to be back to back with ISMB, although in, unfortunately not in the same city. ISMB will be in Montreal the week before, and then BCC will be in Toronto, which is a, about a 300-mile train ride. Uh, so if you're coming from Europe, maybe you can do both of those. So people have been asking me, does this mean Bosque is leaving ISMB forever? Sad pair. No. OK. So so far, the alternation seems to be working well for community. It's kind of our best case compromise to reach different audiences um, and with different budgets. We're able to be uh, run much more cheaply um, with GCC because they don't have so many parallel tracks that need all these rooms. Um, but there are advantages to both conferences. So we're hoping to be back here with ISMB in 2021. And uh, I'd like to close by thanking the many people who made this meeting possible, particularly the organizing committee. And I wanted to especially recognize Heather, my awesome co-chair, who always has the best perspective on things. If I come to her with a bowl of lemons, she just does, doesn't just tell me to make lemonade. She gives me a recipe for lemonade. So thank you for that. And Yo has also been super helpful. Uh, mentoring the outreach intern who put together our website and fixing issues that came up on that and then tweeting like a mad tweeter and that's been awesome. Uh, thanks also to the COFEST organizing committee who just was up here talking to you. The review committee, I am blown away every year by how much time and care these reviewers put in. They review not just the short abstracts that are submitted, but the actual software and the repos. They comment on the usability, the documentation. They give really constructive feedback to the people who submit, and, and many of whom have expressed their gratitude in giving them ways to improve what they're doing. So thank you so much to the reviewers. And if anyone would like to join the review committee for next year, just ask me or one of the other organizers, or email us, or tweet us. We're always looking for new people to help with that. Um, I also wanted to thank the ISMB ECCB organizers and the people who run this Congress Center for keeping the air conditioning going. I was really worried it might not be able to cope with this extreme heat wave, but it's been great, so that's good. And just thank you so much to all of the speakers and the attendees. Um, without you, we wouldn't have a meeting. So thank you for being here and for contributing. And um, once more, we wanted to acknowledge our sponsors. And on that note, 
I will say goodbye and hope to see you all next year at BCC 2020. So before you all leave this room, um, I uh, need to ask you to give me your attention for just a moment to do one of the most important things that we can do at this conference. Um, and that is to join me and express our gratitude and our thanks to uh, not only the organizing committee, which Nomi has already done, but to the chair herself, Nomi. Um, the amount that Nomi, the amount of work that Nomi has put into this, um, and I just saw it fly by. I wasn't actually part of the committee these, this year, but I still saw it fly by, and it's just nothing short of gargantuan. And to me, um, it's just of a heroic quality. And um, just to me personally, and I'm sure everyone on the organizing committee um, 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 will agree with me, the, uh, the uncompromising professionality that Nomi puts into every single piece of this conference to make it as best as it possibly can be is just outright inspiring to me. So please join me and thank Nomi. Thanks for your leadership of the OBF. There's now a brief coffee break and then there's a closing ISMB keynote and I hope to see some of you at dinner. Bye.